Well, Granada Hills Charter High School, there's a protest that's planned for 8 o'clock this morning. Now, parents and students are complaining and very frustrated, saying that they're facing discrimination this morning over those extreme COVID mandi uh, mandates uh, and policies. As you see here, this is where it's going to take place. Now, extreme in their words, they say they're being discriminated against, and a lot of their students, 70 of them, will not be able to walk across the graduation stage. Now, this group of protesters includes G. GHC Parents United, Moms on the Ground, the Unity Project, Let Them Breathe, as well as other groups. Now, Granada Hills Charter announced last fall that students 12 and older wouldn't be allowed on campus if they weren't fully vaccinated against COVID, with few exceptions. A lot of the students had to transfer to the school's online program, learning remotely. Now they're not being allowed to attend their graduation ceremony on June 2nd, which is just around the corner, along with prom, awards night, and other in-person activities. Granada Hills Charter in San Fernando Valley followed LAUSD's lead with their COVID mandates. However, LAUSD has since delayed their student COVID vaccine policies to July of next year. GHC's independent school board kept their policies in place, also requiring all guests who attend school events, including graduation, to show proof of vaccination. Their school board says 99% of the school community is in favor of vaccine mandates and that they stand behind science. Los Angeles County public health officials reported more than 12,600 new cases of COVID-19 over the Memorial Day holiday weekend, or I should say overall, more than 12,600 cases of COVID with 13 COVID-related deaths. The county also reported 20 900 new cases just on Monday alone. Now, the school board goes on to say in part of their statement, according to Granada Hills uh, ch Charter uh, officials, our commitment to safety is ever more important as COVID-19 cases are spiking again and the prospect of outbreaks and new variants is significant. Now, back out here live. However, a lot of these parents that will be showing up this morning are saying that this is uh, outrageous to them because a lot of their students, their children have uh, graduated at the top of their class. So this, this is an ongoing debate, of course, in this community. Reporting live here at Granada Hills Charter High School, Gene Kang, back to you in the studio.